Hey guys, this is Science Made Easier, and today I'm going to show you how to convert from grams to moles. In chemistry, you need to know how to do this conversion for basically everything, whether you're looking for a limiting reagent or just trying to find the molarity of a substance. So, when you're going from grams to moles, the first thing you need to find is the molecular weight of whatever you have. So, what is the molecular weight? Well, the molecular weight is the total of all the atomic masses for what you have. So, let's say you have CO2. First, let's break down the compound into individual elements and find out how many of each element we have. So, for CO2, it looks like we have one carbon and two oxygen. So, I'm going to label my carbon and my oxygen. Uh, looks like we have two oxygen one carbon. Your, if you look on your periodic table, carbon weighs 12, oxygen weighs 16, and if you add that up, you get a molecular weight of 44 grams for carbon. So once you have the molecular weight, all you do is you take your starting weight, 2.34 grams, and you divide that by your molecular weight and that will leave you with moles so for this you get 0 0.05 moles of CO2 now let's take a look at our next problem so first let's find the molecular weight of sodium chloride looking at the periodic table we see that sodium has a weight of 23 and chloride has a weight of 35.5 uh, so since there's just one of each the molecular weight for this is going to be 58.5 grams for sodium chloride now you simply take your starting weight, divide it by your molecular weight, and you will have your moles. So 32.04 grams of sodium chloride over 58.5 grams per mole. And that will leave you with 0.55 moles of NaCl. I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, please leave a like. Thanks, guys.